I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little uh, diminished at this point. What does diminished mean? Oh, time? No. Oh, then I don't know. You should swap out my chair. Uh, I just don't want to stay here with the It's not something we should talk about on stream right now. Right now, Sweetie versus Chrono, and this is the finals. Sweetie, Chrono versus Chrono, and this is the Pokemon trainer. It does not seem to be working out. I do not think you would be keeping that one up. We have 60% all the way. I don't think it's going to start out with the fucking one. I don't think it's going to start out with the I don't think it's going to start out with the fucking one. I don't think it's going to start out with the fucking one. I don't think it's going to start out with the fucking one. I don't think it's going to start out with the I don't know if he sucks 80% of the stuff, he sucks 12%. I do think he's going to start off with someone else that means anyone. But, you know what? We'll start off with another player. Oh, okay. Going up for 46. I'm going to learn the opportunity for him. Um. Who's right? 1, 0, 9, 5, 3. Right there. Definitely not as crazy as the other ones. He's going for a score of 86. He's going for a score of 86. He's going for a score of 86. Sweetie, 54% of only 2 stocks, so only 3%. Sweetie, you can work with Still at 3 stocks, only 8% Okay. Well, this time the 8L, Chrono can just push the side. Yeah, I just right there trying to finish more. Both of them do have a score. They're not moves, so maybe he's looking to out I just don't know if it'll work. Sweet, you can't do that. That's the second stack right there. And he's only at 1 or 9 right now. You should be switching the Charizard right now to get some fucking picks off and hopefully just take out at least one stock plus. Yeah. 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 Y
position. Not walk up to him. Just need to 127. I know the corner of the nose is going to be going through a hit on him. Oh, eating up an arrow. He's trying to go for it. Step foot. Sweetie goes for his classic swift overload. Oh, I don't think I should have mentioned that this is not bad. This is not even one at all. It's a matter of him. Precisely using the proper lady to make it work in the He relies on the Oh! He's nearly taking out Phono as his next stop here. But he did that. Then he misses the ledge. He nearly failed in there. Sweetie, three stops. 140. Going for a classic smash move. Phono is on two stops. Just like Sweetie, what is 108? 23% down. Yep. 128. That's right. He's here to this right there. 138 at this point in time, and the other is not, and there's the extra stock, stock right there. So we're in a 2 to 1 stock for each shield with the 2D and the Pro. Oh, I'm gonna make you some good Can the Pro recover from this? This is a but I'm glad he's starting to back up. Don't like 25%. He can still win this, even if he's 25 to set down. 55 now, working 51%. 51% is trying to bait him off because I'm not sure if he's going to lose it. 87% Ooh, going out to the as he can. Going on 40%. I don't think him off the edge. I feel like he's actually trying to push him back so that he can get back into the middle ground. Sweetie, he's got some friends. 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 The perspective of the gameplay here is absolutely insane. Yeah. Because you're really seeing it, especially from our perspective, we're seeing the way how he really applies his game tactics Another to Spro's game tactics. If Bono doesn't get free, then it's no way. He loses. Yeah, I mean, I... I guess he goes to second place. But still... Yes. Well, on uh, third place. Because this is the loser semifinal. This is the uh, winner's grand final. This, this is, is the, the winner's grand final? This is the winner's grand final. Because Bono has won the losers. Did I miss an entire bout when I missed the entire bout? No, because he's going to be the loser's challenge round, so he is going to be second place. Okay, fair enough. He just needs to win 40 times in a row. I don't want to ask him too much of your crow, but... He's not going for the green hill zone. I think the green hill zone turned out so well. Oh, he's doing it! Windy hill zone. Windy hill zone! I think this might be a promo win. He has to go where the bell's here. Sweetie going for Captain Drop. That might be a switch up there. Oh, Duck? Wait, two link. There we go. Yeah, I was like, whatever. I was like, I was like, he's he's got a rhythm going at this point. Why would he give that one? I think it's a lot of glass. Oh my gosh, you cannot see it. It's so hidden. Oh my gosh. But what's hidden? Exactly. The Chai Boy. What gyro? The gyro. Explain this to me. The gyro is a move that he uses, and then he plants it into the ground, and usually it pokes up, but the grass is covering that, so you can't see it. So I'm gonna switch C4. Okay. Because it's covered by the ground. Isabel has a move like that. Uh huh. I was unaware of this. It'll actually sit there and wait for that. It just spawns after like 15 seconds, which is why it's so weird. Right here, putting up a lot of mass pressure. Sweetie is on 90%, which is working possibly. Well, no, on 79% here. 80 to the arrow, but Sweetie's at 111. Oh, missing a spike there. That would make an amazing one, but sure, guys, when he's putting up an arrow, Sweetie goes to the grab. Actually, I don't know what kind of attack here is. He's just going to keep doing that because the red guy is coming up. Okay, I'm going to have to put a trick for this. So this would have been the same same method we were talking about before that Snake would have been super. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, the plan is to make guns. Uh huh. Okay, got you. He's going to be another you can't tell where. He's going to be another you can't tell I didn't realize uh, Crow's character had uh, uh, Isabel would have had this had a plant a belt ability. Wow. I do want to mention that Crow is three times better. Yes, 
that is the case, though, whether I can actually accomplish that. To be a definite struggling on this stage 100% versus a very, very well. Okay. Also might be I also the Yeah. That does help with me. Um, Isabel's got, if he's got the plan, I didn't realize Isabel had a plan like that. It's quite awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. So as long as uh, Sweet D can maintain, uh, I'm sorry, Pearl Norm can maintain this advantage and keep up his damage, yeah, he'll be able to have a win at least take a win out of this and take a win out of Sweet D's sales for the potential win over overall. But after this, I think Sweet D can uh, platforms. I think so as well. Unless Sweet D is crazy. Sorry, unless Sweet D is crazy. And he decides, I'll, I'll do the windy boys. I don't care. <laughs> I'm getting a little bit of fly mouth because I'm so excited right now. I feel like you're drunk like me. <laughs> I, I, I totally feel like that right now. <laughs> like, Hold on. He's lost 90%. Sweet D. Last stock 101. The balance on this is absolutely insane because it's one stock difference, but the balance between the percentage is so close within each other. Last he just needs one fishing rod and he gets it. Finally That's gets the game a point. right there. If he can do it two more times in a row. That's, I'm not going to lie to you. It's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask, though, between the situation. Oh, it's possible. I know, it's totally possible. It's 100% possible, plausible in this situation. But the question is, will he be able to actually accomplish it? Especially since... Sweezy has the platform position. And he goes with Whitney Hill Zone again. I think it'll play in his favor. Yeah, I wonder if they're discussing whether or not to play Whitney Hill Zone because they are at a little bit of a standoff. I'm so curious to see. Oh no! Yoshi's story! Is oh. that even a playable field? It is if they play it on Omega or Battlefield. They're playing it on Battlefield too, yeah. Okay. Fair battlefield enough. is, if they said it to Battlefield, it's just the same thing. Yeah. But it's got like the three platforms, right? Yep. Two platforms. Platforms. platforms get in my way. I like that because <laughs> if they stand on them, I forward air. It's fun. <laughs> well, I'm a Marth player, we're so it doesn't work water. well for me. Oh, they were ready. Oh. I don't know how this is going to work out because he's not, he's not on the right stage. Wow, he, he went with Isabel again? He went with Isabel and he's going with Captain Falcon. Oh my gosh. Ooh, Captain Falcon seems... Wait. He didn't go with Fox and with Captain Falcon. Wow, I thought it was over the crow though. And he lost his booster. I don't know what happened to him back. But he's not around as Captain Falcon. Not he as really he is. He's putting up a good, a good fight right now. Oh, wow. It's because he's not as many projectiles being thrown his way. I noticed he keeps trying to kill his bullet trap. Oh, oh yes! no! Fight immediately. Speaking of third stock. God, a down spike ruined him. Fomanoa just wants a spike. Another to a spike, another. But can he recover? Oh man! Wow. I, oh my goodness. Sweet D is getting a little dangerous with the spikes. I wonder if he Pro is. Knows to just wow. Chrono is fighting for the uh, outer for edge. Life, yeah, at this say. point. Oh my goodness. Oh man. He's, he's getting knocked around. I wonder if Sweet D's just playing. I hope that he's. I hope that he's not. He's actually feeling a little bit flustered right now, because this is a weird situation for him. One when he's choosing a different character versus an Isabel character, which Crow is proficient with. I'm not hoping that he's gonna throw him a little bit off kilter. So that he can wow, good start to keep. Like that right there. Still, a stock is taken. He's only at 60 percent. Wow. Point. Wow, he went over 31 to 50 yeah, out of one did hit. Damage. Something did damage to him for sure. However. I feel like Captain Falcon will do really well off off uh, stage play. If Chronoa stays on stage, will have the advantage because I don't feel like Chronoa is that well versed off stage on play. Both characters under two stars. Sweetie is at fifty-six percent. Chronoa is at seventy-four. Sweetie going up to seventy-seven percent. It is once again balanced, even though Chronoa stays. Isabel and Sweetie has switched to Captain Falcon. This is getting very scary. I throw them needs to stay off the air right now and just stay on the ground because this sweet thing is going to spike him. He keeps flying. Oh, this is getting very He's scary. fighting for him. Oh, right now. I'm surprised. Oh, 
Oh, oh that's a rival. Wow, that was actually a good kick out. I'm surprised we did not capitalize on that messed up recovery that Fonoid did. That would have been very bad for him. No, but I mean, Crow, I mean, Crow had that rough recovery right there, but Crow kicked them off. Um, I think that would be an opportunity for Crow to ca uh, counteract on that false recovery. Uh, oh, Sweetie taking out one both on the last star here. Oh my goodness. It's nearly anyone's game because it's about to be 2-2 two two if Colonel all wins. If Colonel all wins. Both characters on the last star here. Oh wow, going for the You got 11, uh, 26 versus 22 on the center. 38. 38. 49. I noticed that Sweetie did not take that fall. I don't know, we've been going crazy. It looks like he's getting a little sleepy though. Sweetie 80%, Chrono only 82%. It's looking good! Going for a sick period there, 95 95? Chrono looks like he was about to go for a spike, but I hope he does not. He's guarding that edge fairly well. He Although is, he jumped off to that edge unnecessarily right there, which I think threw I him think off. he was about to go for a bit of a spike. I'm so glad he didn't though. Sweetie 143 percent It is so winnable. I think Sweetie just teabagged. Fighting about 152. He literally just right. one. There it is right there. There's the one right there. It balances two to two. So now this is gonna be the This is This is the game. This is the fight right here. Like I just like Insanity wow, so right there. I'm not gonna lie, I am tired. I'm also a wee bit. I'm feeling the rum right now. I felt the rum for like. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'm feeling the rum right now more so than I was before. And I'm like, this is. Both characters. Oh my goodness. Deep breath. I cannot believe they're both on their 2 2. This is like the, the last game. Goodness. Is, this is the it? grand finale, right? This is, yeah, it is. It is nearly 2 a.m. Oh my goodness. This is the game. Ooh, like they are, Sweetie they're, going for Little Mac. Is he really going for them? Yes, against Isabel. Oh no! <laughs> this is going to be really oh. well for Sweetie. Oh, really, really oh my well. gosh, I feel like this is definitely going to be a hit or oh, miss situation. I don't know, because has so many opportunities to get Sweetie off the stage, which is really, oh really bad for him. The thing is, is that sweet. Uh, I'm sorry, little. Uh, little Mac or no, Isabel? Crow is so well versed in Sweet D. I mean, in Little Mac, that he knows how to counteract it. I would think anyway uh -huh. that he is paid to Sweet D. That tail punch is gonna sorry. hurt. Oh, sorry, sorry. If sorry. he can hit it, okay. Sweet D, both kids have three stops, but Isabel is very light. Just anything will take about right now. Sweet D is off the stage. Oh! Wow, amazing start taking control over there. Chrono with three stars at 82%. Sweetie almost taking out Isabel start there. Sweetie nearly going for a spike there. That would be just crazy. Sweetie two stars at 9%. Chrono with about to lose a stop here. It's getting a little close. So what I'm trying to say is that like, oh, Chrono knows Little Max so well because he played him so proficiently in the beginning mm -hmm. as his first original player mm -hmm. and his go-to that he should be able to counteract a lot of his things. He should know how to, <gasps> to fight against him. So with Isabel, he should be able to work against him in order to make sure that he has the win on this. I would hope he would have that proficiency in that. And I'm seeing this so far in the stocks, in the fights right now, it's going back and forth. The little Max got that KO in the reserve. Oh, there's that KO that takes out the stocks. Man, oh. he is on his last time. However, it is 61%, so who knows, he may be able to work it back. He does, load into, he does know little Mac. Hopefully he knows Little Mac well enough that he can fight against it and knock that sucker out and be done with it. Sweetie at 89%. Chrono is racking up to 49%. It is not looking good. The higher that Chrono goes, the more bad this looks. 78% is looking good. Sweetie needs to land one of his smash attacks and Chrono is gone. He has a glass cannon. Oh, wow, that was almost really bad. Sweetie is charging up moves and Chrono knows what to do. <laughs> he really is. He's, he's bouncing so much right now he that he's trying to avert he's his attacks. He's trying to. Oh my goodness. He's trying to avoid oh, any good. and all contact with Little Mac at this point in time. Because he knows that Little Mac, the higher he gets the percentage, the more dangerous he is. He's got a KO prepped right now, so he's got to miss it. Oh no! There's this. There's the stock balance right there, and you and oh no, there it is! Oh! Sweetie, 
Oh no! Sweet Tea takes the win! Oh my goodness! I did.